Hi, this is Vaughn Stewart with NetApp, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you how to reduce storage infrastructure costs and increase data protection and availability in order to virtualize more systems with VMware. The technology we will be covering is available on storage arrays from NetApp and the N-Series from IBM. Traditionally, storage administrators provision storage based on the estimate for growth of a particular data set or application. The downside to this method is that it often results in only a fraction of the provision storage actually storing data leaving the remainder trapped as unused capacity. Storage thin provisioning is a technology which allows you to enter into a model where storage is provisioned on demand. In this design, customers experience a much higher rate of storage utilization. Building upon the storage savings of thin provisioning, we offer data deduplication for production data sets. Dedupe works by identifying and eliminating the redundant blocks of data stored on the array and making them available for reuse. With most VMware environments, the storage savings from dedupe commonly range from 50 to 70 percent. Let's look at the impact of dedupe within a VMware virtual infrastructure. By default, virtual machines are very redundant. The commonality between virtual machines is by design, as companies have standard configurations for their servers and applications. By moving VMware to NetApp or N-Series arrays from IBM, the storage array is able to return all of the storage consumed by anything that has been installed on more than a single virtual machine. This range of data includes operating systems, applications, patches, and even the unused free space found in virtual disks. The last advancement in storage savings is our ability to deploy individual VMware virtual machines and entire VMware data stores without duplicating the underlying storage. This technology allows solutions such as large virtual desktop environments to become a reality. By combining the storage virtualization found in VMware and in our storage arrays, customers are able to implement flexible virtual infrastructures that can address today's business requirements, such as budget constraints and leveraging existing infrastructure resources. In addition, because of this native functionality within our arrays, customers have a flexible platform that can adapt to future data center plans without having to make wholesale changes to the environment. Together, NetApp and VMware have published a technical report that definitively shows all storage protocols can meet the needs of a production data center. With any consolidation effort, the platform being consolidated to must be more reliable than the former distributed platform. The reason for this requirement is quite simple. A failure on the new consolidation platform will result in massive service disruptions. With traditional storage vendors, customers are forced to choose between data protection technologies that are either cost-effective or highly available. With RayDP, customers can have the best-in-class data protection, performance, and storage utilization without the trade-offs found with other technologies. Servers which are virtualized are commonly identified by the underutilization of their physical resources. Customers have often overlooked that these servers tend to get very busy when their backup operations run. Once these servers are virtualized, their day-to-day -day resource demands can easily be met by an ESX server. However, when backup operations begin, the requirement to copy all of the data to a backup device as quickly as possible can easily overwhelm the shared physical resources leading to longer backup windows. To address these challenges, customers can leverage snapshot-based backups provided by Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure. With SMVI, backup operations are simple, policy-driven, complete in just seconds, and full backups only consume block-level changes. SMVI can leverage your existing tape infrastructure, moving the data directly from the storage array to tape library, thus removing any demand for resources from your VMware servers. When running VMware on arrays from NetApp and the N-Series from IBM, the storage savings provided by data deduplication can actually finance the remote storage required to implement VMware's Site Recovery Manager. The ability to have two copies of your production and backup data at two locations allows customers to merge their backup and disaster recovery strategies into a single cohesive business continuance plan. The best part of this solution is that it provides for a single data protection design for any size office or data center. With data on tap, the storage systems at each site can be of different sizes, run different storage protocols, and be of different storage technologies and medias. Our storage arrays allow customers to go farther with VMware. As you can see from this example, technologies such as data deduplication, RAID DP, 
and snapshot-based backups can have a pervasive effect throughout your virtual infrastructure, resulting in storage cost savings, increased data availability, and the means to virtualize more of your data center. As we begin to close, I'd like to share with you that if you run VMware on another vendor's enterprise class array, then you're in luck. NetApp and the N-Series from IBM can front-end most of these arrays, enabling all of the features we have shared and discussed while maintaining the current capital investment. Think of this solution as a hypervisor for your existing storage arrays.